Uh, this is, I titled it my bi barbershop bio. My lifetime of singing began in Story City, Iowa, where I was born in 1935. My singing began in small groups at church while still of elementary age. In high school, I participated in mixed chorus, men's chorus, and madrigal group. I also sang with the church choir for three years. I attended Luther College after graduating from high school. In the latter time of fall, I joined a mass choir that sang the Messiah each year at Christmas time. This was under the direction of the one and only Weston Noble. Most of those who sang at the Luther campus uh, in this production also went to Minneapolis each year to present the Messiah at the old Minneapolis Auditorium site where the Convention Center now resides. Weston also directed that group in Minneapolis. While at Luther, I did take uh, voice lessons uh, one semester, and I received a compliment from Weston one day I couldn't believe, but uh, my voice teacher on that particular day took me to the uh, choir rehearsal room, which was in the basement of the old gymnasium that burned down several years after I left. And uh, so I was going through my vocal lesson and uh, Weston had a, an office above uh, the uh, and to one side of the rehearsal room and he leaned out of his window and said oh Lawrence you should try out for the Nordic and I felt pretty good about that but I uh, I didn't have the time for that at the time and so I passed it off and but uh, relished in that one compliment from Weston. Uh, two other extracurricular activities I participated in uh, in a while at Luther were the concert band and intramural basketball. I enjoyed the band tremendously, but I needed to put more time into my classwork. After graduating from Luther, I began my career of teaching and coaching in Iowa. We were there for only one year. Kathy and I moved from a small community south of Waterloo to Silver Bay and began our next 11 years on the North Shore. Kathy taught fifth grade and I taught elementary Phi Ed. I continued singing with local church choirs. Then in 1968, I finally had my first taste of barbershop. A dentist, Otto Ringley, I don't know if any of you know him, moved to Silver Bay from Walker. He had been involved in a barbershop chorus in Walker, and he was gung-ho about starting a new chapter in Silver Bay. The Duluth course was the course that sponsored us as our new uh, charter membership chapter. Thus, I became a charter member of the Silver Bay chorus, one of, and one of the first quartets I heard in Silver Bay uh, who came there for our show was none other than the Hut Four. And uh, the one song that I remember so well, which I loved, was the Three Bells featuring You Know Who, Bob Spong. The Night Howls were also on uh, one of the shows one year. But then we moved from Silver Bay to New Brighton in 1970. Kathy taught several different grades. I again taught elementary Fayette. I again joined the church choir at Christ the King Lutheran Church in New Brighton. And of course, this is where Bob Spong was directing. Actually, he had nothing to do at the time I joined, uh, but uh, loved the years we spent singing with him. It didn't take me long to discover the Minneapolis Commodores. There were at least eight members from our choir who sang with the Commodores. My timing was perfect. The Commodores had just won the district contest in the fall of 70, and I found myself a greenhorn in barbershop singing, and all at once I was going to go to my first international competition in New Orleans. And Jim Hall happened to be my roommate that year, you know Jim. Uh, my first quartet was with Dan Kirkleberg at with the tenor, Dan Slattery, lead, Bill Shaw, Jr., bass. I don't remember ever singing a gig or competing, but we sure had a lot of fun and a lot of laughs, if you know those guys. My second quartet was with uh, 
Warren Kreckelberg, lead, Dan, his son, the tenor, Ron Setzler, the bass. We called our group the Sounds of Music. We even purchased and sang gigs, purchased uniforms. Anyway, we, uh, then we competed in the division contest in Wilmer. This was to be our only competitive singing, uh, but we made the most of it. We finished in fourth place and won the uh, novice championship. That year, uh, the Knights of Harmony had won uh, the, the contest in Wilmer. Our longest road trip was for a sing out in Silver Bay. But um, we had many good years. We, had, we sang for about four to five years and uh, had a great time. The third quartet I sang with was the Northern Nairs, which included Plenty Nelson at Lee, Jerry Gould at tenor, Quentin Wood was the bass. We did sing several gigs together, but never competed. I can remember one gig that we sang at the Edina High School. It was for a fundraising event. That happened in 1988. The only other quartets I sang with after the Northern Airs were the Valentine Days Quartets and a few quartets of small groups at our church. Another highlight of barber shopping was when my son Paul joined the Commodores and he sang with them and with us for two years and he got to enjoy a competition in Seattle with us. And he's still active in his church singing and playing with a contemporary band for his church. So, I don't want to forget anything here. <laughs> I, jo oh, I sang with the Commodores uh, for 18 years before dropping out to attend a Bible study fellowship group. I was part of that group for six years. I retired from teaching in 1995 then, and now I was ready for more barber shopping. I joined the GNU at this time and remained with them for seven years before retiring from chorus singing. It had been great fun to be singing and competing with the GNU, the Commodores, and the Silver Bay chapters. Even now, I am still connected to a chorus as a GNU Emeritus member. That pretty much, much sums up my life of barbershop singing. I've had a great time, and it's great to be a barbershopper. Yeah.